Welcome to Carolina Beach. Carolina Pines Med Spa and Lotus Wellness Center of Jacksonville, Juliana Norris Munro, introduces how Lotus Wellness Center can help you live more vibrantly, keep your mind, body and spirit healthy by making anti-inflammatory diet changes and employing magnetic resonance therapy with Magnosphere. Welcome to the show, my friend. Thank you. All right, let's just get into Lotus Wellness. What is it that you do over there? So we're basically bringing our med spa clients a, an edge in their efforts to de-age by addressing their stress. How do you go about that? The Magnosphere. Mm -hmm. Magnetic resonance therapy is... That very long word. Yes. Must be an incredible machine. It is an incredible <laughs> machine, actually, yeah. It's 40 years um, in research um, and, and development. Um, basically, what it does is enhance deep feelings of relaxation by balancing the autonomic nervous system. So that's Ex responsible for fight or flight or rest and digest. Okay, well, explain that because people probably sitting at home now going, what? <laughs> Right, so in a nutshell, um, part of our nervous system prepares us for an emergency mm -hmm. and another part of our nervous system brings us back down to normal from that. And unfortunately, in our modern day lives, we're operating way too often for way too long in that fight or flight stress reaction, stress response, instead of being in the rest and digest response. So with the process of the treatment, walk someone through that treatment. It's a passive treatment. They're lying very comfortably in a comfortable chair. The treatment is an hour. They may not necessarily you know, feel anything like tingles. They're not gonna yeah. go on an amusement park ride even though it looks like a time machine. <laughs> um, but they will feel really, really relaxed. Mm. Some people fall asleep, not everybody does, but when they do come out of the of the treatment, typically a drop in three to five points where pain is concerned if they really? had it. Absolutely. Um, improved sleep that night, increased energy, and just overall feelings of well-being are, are increased. Wow. Yep. All right, well one of the things we talk a lot about here is nutrition and diet. Correct. Okay, and something that you're passionate about. Absolutely. How does that affect our stress levels? So when we are operating in that fight or flight, in that emergency type of state, yeah. we need more resources, we need more raw materials. And if we're not fueling our bodies adequately, we're not gonna be able to uh, come forth with the performance we're demanding. And mm. then we're gonna end up deficient anyway. So sometimes we, we eat because we're stressed, yeah. but most often what we're doing is not realizing that what we're eating is not going to help us no. deal with stress anyway. I completely agree. Right. I'm a stress eater, but I also now know it's all in my head. Right. And it's that's perception. what you have to get past that. Correct. You ready for this next question? Maybe. All right. Which came first, the chicken or the egg? Do we eat because we are stressed or does our eating cause us to be stressed? So, of course, it's going to be a combination, <laughs> right? Especially what you're eating. Exactly. If you're choosing foods that are going to immediately give you that high, most likely they're not going to have the nutrients that are going to carry you over the long haul and, and then you're going to make more bad decisions and um, I think it's piecing everything together, right? Yeah. It's, it's understanding what foods work for you and make you feel better and eliminating the foods that clearly do not make you feel good. Well, I want to ask you this. What do you do when you go to reach for that thing you know you shouldn't be eating? Like, you know, just the other day I was like, I'm craving for Chick-fil-A. Craving. You, you know, the very first thing is conviction, understanding yeah. that what you are eating is having a huge effect on your body. It's, it's going to have to be um, making a determination that you want to do better and yeah. really understanding how harmful what you're reaching for can actually be and the long-term effects of that one sandwich. I know. It's, I wish it was just one sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? You're a binge Chick-fil-A <laughs> eater, binge aren't you? Chick -fil -A. We appreciate you coming in again. Thank you you always give me. us such great information. I appreciate if you want it. to find out more, there it all is up on the screen for you. Give them a call, everyone. They will take care of everything for you and also point you in the right direction. Put your best foot forward. Appreciate you. Back after this short break.